The transpiration rate in plants can be easily investigated using a piece of apparatus called a potometer. This is what a potometer looks like. Over on this side you can see a plant shoot that has been inserted through a rubber bung into the water. The blue colour in this diagram represents water and in this area here you can see the reservoir. This yellow section down here is the scale. And in the tube that goes along the scale you'll notice that there is an air bubble. Finally, this tube at the end runs down and goes into a beaker of water. So how does a potometer work? As the plant transpires and takes up water, the bubble moves along the tube. So during transpiration, water evaporates from the surface of the leaves, pulling water up the glass tube as it does so. This causes the bubble in the tube at the bottom to move along the scale. So then how can we use this to determine transpiration rate? We can then record how far the bubble has moved over a known period of time. We can record the position of the bubble over regular intervals under different conditions. As well as trying out different conditions, we can also sample different plants. For the exam, you need to be able to describe how to measure the uptake of water and use this to measure the rate of transpiration. Now, can you think of any factors that can increase the rate of transpiration? We can investigate transpiration rate whilst changing various factors. The following factors can be altered when investigating transpiration rate. So, light intensity, temperature, airflow, humidity, and we can also investigate how stomata distribution affects the transpiration rate. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!